So you might be in this weird situation where for some reason your specific iPhone is not loading up websites in the Safari browser. Now maybe other browsers are working but Safari is not or something along those lines. The very, very first thing I would recommend doing though is making sure you have a Wi-Fi connection or an internet connection of some sort. If you don't have an internet connection, if you don't have a Wi-Fi connection, that is usually going to be the number one issue that you're basically going to have. So what you're going to want to do is make sure your Wi-Fi connection is good or your cell connection is good. And those are basically going to be the main things you can do here. And that's exactly what I'd recommend doing as well. Now, if for some reason you do that and that's still not working, the next thing I would recommend doing is to actually go through and essentially see if Safari, if there's a website that you're loading that's being weird. So if you're able to load up, let's say like apple.com or any of those types of websites, but for some reason, you know, the one website you're going to is just not working, then that might mean that your specific Safari browser doesn't support that web page. And that is a very common thing. It happens all the time. So I wouldn't really even freak out about that too much, but I would recommend you, you know, double check that URL that you typed in, make sure you type in the right, you know, information, everything like that. So you may just want to double check that. Now, another thing you may want to try doing is going into your system settings of your iPhone and scrolling down until you see your Safari option. So scroll down until you see Safari, which is right here, tap on it and go and scroll down until you have the ability of actually clearing history and website data. Now, sometimes there can be some weird stuff that happened within your specific device. So you may just want to go ahead and try and see if you can actually go through and fix this by actually going through and, you know, clearing history and website data, open up Safari again, see if that ends up fixing it. If that still doesn't work, finally, what you probably want to try doing is either restarting your phone, or you can also try going into your system settings into your iPhone like this, clicking on general, clicking on, you know, software update, and essentially updating your iPhone. That's another thing that can probably end up fixing the problem as well. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.